Yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the middle of the internet hippie interview. You call me. <laughs> Yo, that man, Dr. Drip. What's good? <laughs> Goji, I was like, shit, that's some of the best guys I had, so I just always remember the name, and I wanted to start rapping, so I always told myself when I started rapping, my name was going to be Goji, so then like, I always be talking about, I be dunking on niggas, I be balling, so Kobe being Bryant, and like Goji being Bryant was just a joke, that's just what my friends called me. And so my name's supposed to be Goji, but then I made my social media Goji being Brian, it just stuck. Plus it's like catchy, everybody fuck with it, so I just kept it. Goji being Brian. I mean, I grew up in the sticks of South Carolina, like, I always be putting on IG. Where I live, it's a dirt road, it's only four houses, one of my great grandma house, grandma house, and two cousins, so it's like, I grew up there. I love everybody. I love everybody that made music in South Carolina. South Carolina and North Carolina, that's the wave now in Atlanta. That's where I be at. Like, I moved from South Carolina to North Carolina, so like that's why people consider me like a Charlotte rapper, but I really claim... Um, I really claim South Carolina, if you ask me. But yeah, everybody in South Carolina hard. Slime Dollars, 9GYL, all them, they all hard. Turbo, FBK, everybody coming out of, everybody coming out of South Carolina hard. Big Muscle Gang, that's the family, you know, it's like, everybody in Big Muscle Gang, like, we actually know each other, we actually hang out, and say so you got my boy Digi go out right there, um, the creator and leader of the group, you got Dr. Drip, and then you got Montreal. Um, you got my boy Jules, I'm gonna sleep there out in Australia, you got my boy Biggie, um, my boy Retro, and my boy Tyler Goldchains, he out there in LA, and you got my boy Serp, and like, Serp and Digi, they do the art, so, it's a nasty group, big muscle game, like I said, it's a family, it's more of a family than a, like, collective, so we don't just, like, really work with too many people we just keep it like an in-house thing we really just work with ourselves you know we work we work with other people too like my boy blaze big muscle blaze pretty much you know that's like that's like family too and we just trying to make a new sound man bring bring something new to the table bring some stuff to the table ain't nobody ain't never heard before my boy Ty, he sent me that beat, and like, like I said, the on the run situation, that shit real. Like, I be telling people, people be thinking it's a joke. Like, your boy can't work. Music, all I got. So I mean, like I said, after the situation happened, um, went off to my grandma house in South Carolina, and um, that night I was just trying to think what I was gonna do, and like, you know, I'm, um, I also forgot to say, baby go yard. I meant to say. My fault. Baby Goyard, he BMG too, you know, that's my big muscle brother. So like Big Muscle Goyard was already up here. And my boy Drip was up here, so <coughs> me being on the run, I made this song. I was just trying to make as much music as possible because I know I ain't know what was gonna happen. So I made it on the run that night. And I told my story on the song. Uh mixed it myself, like so I mixed my own music, recorded myself and whatnot. And I sent the song to Ty. And then I uh gave Ty my SoundCloud and then I got on the bus to North Carolina. I mean got on the bus to come up here for the first time. And I told Ty to drop it when I got in like Virginia. So I was actually on the run when it dropped, you know what I'm saying? So man, then I ain't expect- I knew it was gonna like pop. I knew it was gonna do like what it did, but I didn't think it was gonna go like that and so a lot of people been rocking with me since, but I'm trying to put like the new people that's been on me since on the run on my old shit because I feel like my old shit is the hard shit. And then like the tape I just dropped and got Blaze on there. I feel like that's that's that shit. So 
Man, that's how On The Run came about. <coughs> I mean, and I said, I gave my life too. I feel like this rap shit gonna work out. I got like 110% like confidence in this shit. So once I get right with the music, then I go back and take care of that. But for right now, I'm trying to get right music, music wise. <laughs> Just the people I was around, and then I felt like if I made music, it was gonna be ass. And then like I started making music, I started making like music on like plug beats, and got like a lot of old shit. That's why I'm like cool with my boy Cash Cash, and then like my boy Tex, me and Tex real close, and I was making music with them. And then um, I was cool with Drip, and me and Drip just got real close and. Drip was like, man, come join that big muscle wave. And then, like, I just started making harder music. And then, like, back home, like, my nickname, Debo. So, like, people always told me I should, like, portray the image, like, of my nickname. Because I always, like, grew up fighting people. Like, it was hard growing up and shit. So, and so I just started making the hard music. And I started making music that portrayed the type of person I was. So, and that's why... I, and that's where I'm at, where I'm at now. And everybody rock with it, but I think I'm going to start making some more soft music, switch it up a little bit, take it back to 2016. Tell them, if, if the bass ain't <laughs> not, if, it, if it's not knocking in the car, if it ain't knocking, I can't get on it. I don't really care about the melody that much. If it ain't knocking, I can't get on it. And that's what I'm saying. As far as producers, I really, like I said, I work with... Every if you ever see me on a song like I said in the car, if you ever see me on a song with somebody, I didn't like like I said, ain't nothing wrong with buying beats, but if you ever see me on a song with somebody, I ain't buy the beat. That's actually like my friend. Like that that's my man, you know what I'm saying? So like I always work with my boy Munchie, that's the that's the bro that's family. I work with Blaze, that's that's the bro that's family. I work with Tyler Gold Chains. I work with Kazu, uh who else? Uh, my boy Biggie, Trap Money Biggie, <clears throat> but like really just Montreal, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, I got a song with Speedway, but yeah, mon mostly Montreal. So, you know, and so that's the bros. So like I got a connection with those people because I talk to them basically on a daily basis, and I see them. Like so, you see we together. Like everybody that I work with, I talk to. So. That's why I feel like the music's so hard because we all got a connection. We all trying to build the same sound and go for the same goal. So and that's how it works. Favorite song, I have to say, Set Up Shot. That song go dumb hard. Uh, um, uh, Slime in the City with my boy Yeet. I feel like that song should be on the radio. Um, Big Dope with Blaze and Dr. Drip. That song, that I catch your ear. Skate Slide with Kudzu. And then um, I got a song with Drip called Big Muscle Gang. That's like the anthem. It's on our tape, Guinness World Flexes 1. And um, I got a song called Steel and Drip. Well, it's called Give Me My Swag Bag on the tape. And like every time I listen to that song, it, it gave me emotional because like one of, my, one of my brothers died, and I like rapped about him and that. But like everything I pretty much rap about, like be facts. It's, it be boosted up a little bit, but you know most of it be facts. So as far as like topics, I just be rapping about shit that happened, shit that's gonna happen, or shit that it already did, or like I said, shit that I want. And I just be rapping about the game, and like I said, I like guns and shit. I had a hard life. Like I said, I ain't from the hood and I'm a country, I'm a country nigga, but I done been through some things. So like I said, everybody know the on the run situation, so that ain't no, no false shit. So I just be rapping about that type of stuff and just old shit. And then it's like I ain't gonna say I got beef with anybody, but. I got some old problems with some old people, so they know who they who they know who they be. They know who they they know who I'm talking about in the song. They know who I'm talking about. That's that's what I'm trying to say. They know who I'm talking about. So that's how that go. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna even care. I used to be uh I used to be shy and I'm still I'm still shy because I still ain't grasped the whole thing. Like damn, I'm really like a rapper and I'm out here like 
and like people fuck with me because I still don't think people be fucking with my music until people tell me. But as far as shows, I I think I'll be pretty lit at a show. I know um I had like two shows at um my boy Kuzu and Toki Spot the Tattoo Shop, and I feel like I was piped at them shows. Um, I had two performances in Atlanta. Those was lit. So as far as Goji Bean performance, I, I think it's pretty lit. I just like lit crowds. Like, if you're not lit, it's gonna make me less lit, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still gonna try to bring the energy regardless, cause my music lit, you know what I'm saying? I just, you see how I'm coming, like, I wear, I mean, I'm, I'm always comfortable. Uh, I like designer shit, but I mean, right now, I'm just trying to get up in the music. I don't really care about all that other shit. I like it, though. I had some shit. Low, low key, I always tell niggas, like, when I first met Drip, I lost all my clothes. I lost my vape and all that shit in a suitcase in Atlanta. Somebody took my shit. But, um, like I said, I'm always comfortable. I mean, sometimes... You catch me with the Chewies. I got the Chewies. They in my bag somewhere. I got the BBs. I got, yeah, you know, I'm big belt gang. I'm all, I got the big belts. <laughs> big belt shit, Texas for shit. Yeah, I just ain't got it right now. You know, I'm cozy. I got, I got my North Face. I'm cozy right now. It's cold as shit. That's actually funny because uh, I, hacked, I hacked Mixed Craft. That's how I got that shit, so... I had Mitch Craft and like that's how I met Drip. Me and him had Mitch Craft. That's how we um, record. And um, yeah, I just record on Mitch Craft. And half the time, like, like I, like I said, I just got the TV and then I play the game when I'm recording. So I just had a PlayStation in front of me. I got the mic, so I just uh, record, play the game, uh, record, play the game. Everything I everything I write, I mean, everything I rap is freestyle. I don't write, I don't, I don't write shit. I'm saying sometimes I freestyle the other way, sometimes I punch in, but everything I do that's straight freestyle. Like, but this dude set up pretty nice, right. pretty nice. Got a nice mic, laptop. I, I rap comfortably. I still see myself in the game. Like I said, I ain't that old, but I'm trying to use the rap game to like give back, help my family. But I'm trying to get into like entertainment business too i'm trying to um i'm trying to be like a voiceover in a cartoon like comedic voiceovers so i'm trying to use my uh rap platform to get to that point so keep that money flowing because that's something i always want to do i feel like i'm a pretty funny nigga so shout out the whole gang shout out my nigga Seda. shout out five fingers shout out whole big muscle gang drip Munchie, everybody back home. Go yard, shout out Digi, Sir. My nigga Ty, shout out Ty back home. Shout out my nigga YHN Nino. Shout out Theo. I'm saying, about to just get this job done, trying to get this money, trying to move up in this music thing, man. Trying to make this a lifestyle. This ain't no hobby, everybody trying to. Do the music just to do it. We trying this a this a lifestyle to us.